what's up YouTube? It's the Hype War here. I'm bringing you another video. This is another haul video. Um, I don't know if you guys like my Fallout shirt. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, okay, pretty dope. Uh, my Wario hat. But today I'm going to be bringing you haul number... I think this is number three or four. I'm not sure. But check out the rest of my hauls, man. You know what I'm saying? On my channel, Abby Monda, sir. You know what I'm saying? Or actually Hype Warrior. Um, also check out my Instagram, which is actually Abby Monda, sir. I'm going to basically uh, uh, post that at the end of the video. So definitely check that out. Um, you know, some good stuff, you know, like I said, a diversity of things. Anyway, this is my, uh, next haul video. Alright, check it. Um, first game is gonna be, uh, the Earth Defense Force. Oh, who shot the cover art? I gotta look for these, man. Earth Defense Force, uh, 2017 Insect Armageddon. These games are really fun, especially if you have a friend. Um, they, they're frantic and fun. The game handles a lot of things on screen at the same time. The, um, the great thing about these games is the... Uh, the fun factor, in my opinion, um, something about blowing these insects. I don't like bugs, you know what I'm saying? So, especially roaches and mosquitoes, so blowing and flies. Uh, so blowing these things up is really fun. And the ragdoll fakes are pretty good in this game. They recently released, um, another one. I think it's called EDF 2025, so, or 2050, but, um, definitely get these games. These are, these are good games, all right? I got this at my local GameStop for freaking five bucks. All right, the next thing I want to show you guys is Quake 4, dude. Um, you know, this is cool, made by Bastida, and uh, really good games, man. Uh, remember the original series? I still have my old PC original. Um, but yeah, dude, I got this at my local thrift store. Complete, all right, in the box. Ugh, for two bucks, the game's pretty much in mint condition. That bad boy's not coming out, so, um, yeah, man, I would highly recommend, uh, you know, uh, picking this up, you know, uh, these are good games, uh, like, damn, they, like, they're just awesome, dude, Quake, you know, the Quake series is really popular, um, the next thing I got, um, I actually got this because, uh, inspiration, man, inspiration breeds greatness, or evil, but anyway, I got this from, uh, Metal Jesus Rocks, I, I didn't get this from him personally, but you guys should check out his channel, uh, he pumps you up, motivates you, has a great channel, uh, Metal Jesus Rocks once again. But anyway, I, I found this game through watching one of his videos, and this is like, I believe, an import, but I got this from my local uh, GameStop. It's either, I don't know if it's an import or just like, uh, you know, one of those third-party games that never really got much love. I think that's what it is. It uh, uses, it's 3D compatible, it uses the, uh, the PlayStation Move, got it for five bucks, alright, and it's complete. It's a really good game, it's just really interesting and ingenuitive. Uh, most of all, it has pretty good graphics. You guys should check this game out. Next, uh, this is a uh, Torok. I just thought this was a beautiful cover art. It's a, it's a, it's the demo disc for Torok. All right, I got this because I just, I just thought it was like a lot. Uh, some of these games came out on these, uh, these demo games came out in these type of cases, whatever. So I just got it. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty much for free. This is the best find of today, guys. I'm just once again. That's why I got to go out there, man. You never know what you're going to get. Some people don't even know what they have. And they let it go for a really, like, cheap price, okay? This is Donkey Kong Country for freaking Nintendo Wii. This game still goes for, like, $20 plus at the local GameStop 2016, okay? I got this game. Are you ready, guys? I got this game for freaking 5 bucks, complete, okay? At my thrift store. I was just stoked, all right? Like, and it's in really good condition. I'm just, like, it has the instructions, everything, okay? And Donkey Kong, I remember when this game was released, it was I had a pretty good debut. Um, I think it's like a mixture of all the other Donkey Kongs that are on Super NES, and I'm really happy to have it. I never played this on Wii, so I can't wait to see how the uh, the Wii's graphics going to utilize this. Um, this game's going to utilize Wii's graphics system, and just, man, Donkey Kong is a great series, man. Fucking pop, man. $5, dude. Like, I, I, I ripped that quick. All right, next. Uh, Darksiders, man, uh, this game, I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, one of the greatest hack and slashes ever created, I have this game on PC, PS3, pretty much a lot of systems, man, it's a really good game, and, uh, man, this is just fucking epic, dude, look at War and his fucking horse, I think his horse's name is Despair, but just, or, or, no, it's Ruin, fucking badass game, dude, great series, I love that Heaven and Hell theme, um, you know, I, I love this game, I remember when it came out on commercials, uh, years back, um, <laughs> I had a bunch of like friends that were over. Some of them were like, uh, were like, uh, they were like scared of this game for some reason. I guess they never seen a game with like ripping apart. Uh, you know, there was like some controversy because like 
the angels and everything. You're beating up angels and ripping off their wings, like you know. And uh, some people being like religious was like, like, damn, it's an abomination. But uh, I loved it. You know, I do. You know, I I respect people's religion. I you know I do believe in God and whatnot. That's irrelevant. But um, I just you know this game is just it's just bad. It's just a it, it's just like Mad Max meets freaking like like Jesus. It's a badass game, man. But uh, next up is uh, Bullet Storm, man. Pick this up. Oh, the last game I got it for like two bucks. Uh, no, five dollars. Five dollars. Um, this game right here is Bullet Storm. Pick this up for two dollars at my local thrift store. It's a really good game. I liked it. I just didn't like. I didn't like the storyline necessarily. Especially you have one of the characters in this game. I forgot his name, but like there he is in the back cover. He's like this Asian character, and like um, he becomes like a cyborg because like he's basically. You get overran in the beginning, and like your friend gets ripped and like ripped apart, and your your other partners are basically trying to put them back together using cybernetic parts, and it's not really a complete process because he's in a rush doing it. So your friends like hating on everybody for basically trying to bring him back and to this like monstrosity, and like he's just kind of like a douchebag throughout the whole game. But it's like, dude, like I would, I don't, if my friends bought me back as a freaking cyborg. Now, even though it's, I don't like the process, as long as I get my revenge on the people who shredded me. And then I can lay the rest, okay? But it's a cool game, has a bunch of gore, good weapons, and it has this mechanic where you can slide uh, and, and trip somebody and slide shoot somebody, which is, you don't see that in most FPS games. You know what I'm saying? But yo, cool game. Got it for five, uh, $2 at my local thrift store, I believe. Next... This game is called Tony Hawk Shred, man. I'm a big fan of Tony Hawk games. My favorite being Tony Hawk, the blue cartridge for N64. Um, this is uh, Tony Hawk Shred Big Air, Bigger Tricks. That's what she said. But anyway, it's on Wii. Got this at my local thrift store for a fact. I got this for $2. It's complete. Um, I have the Wii board. And the same thrift store was actually selling three Wii boards. I think we're like under 10 bucks. So hell yes. Hell yes, man. Mint condition. $2. Next. Um, I don't know if this is a sequel or prequel, or the first one. This is Tony Hawk Ride. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty cool. Activision. Remember that company, man? they the ones that made Vigilante 8, which is great for Entity 4. Highly recommend it. But anyway, yeah. This is Tony Hawk Ride. Um, and it has, once again, excuse me, guys. Utilize the Wii board. Highly recommend it. Grab it. Two bucks. This next game. Oh, my God, dude. Um... This next game is called Ninja Gaiden Yaiba. Fucking amazing game. Came out, I think, recently. Um, and, uh, you know, didn't come out too long ago. Um, it's not really recent, but it didn't come out too long ago. This game is awesome, man. It's The storyline's a little bit weird. It's like, it's like you're, this, uh, you're this character. I can't remember his name. I only played it for a couple, like, minutes. But I played enough of it where it was just like, dude, the fun factor is through the roof. You fight these zombies and... Um, it's just, it's funny. It has like a, kind of like a, uh, lollipop chainsaw slash Ninja Gaiden, um, kind of feel to it. The gameplay's fast and frantic and just awesome. You have this, uh, big boob, like, girl that basically, like, she's the one that puts you together after getting ripped apart by Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. And she, like, kind of, like, delegates you. And it's just really cool, man. I, I love this game. The box art's awesome. And what really sold me to buying this game was I got this at my local GameStop, all right? It was like seven bucks. Um, and what really got me to buy this game and sold me, uh, besides a great price, um, wow, I've never seen this in history. Uh, it, uh, well, of course, the M17 uh, rating, but I, ne I never seen a list of it, like gore, drug reference, intense violence, sexual themes, strong language. Like, I never seen um, uh, the rating system that, like, it explains, it basically has all this in one. Uh, it's, it's funny, but, um, anyway, the, the thing that really sold me to buying this game is that when you beat it, or you get through enough of it, you unlock the original NES Ninja Gaiden, man, shit, I mean, how can you not buy this game, highly recommend this game, guys, um, Ninja Gaiden's a great series, and I'm trying to collect all the freaking games for, th for it, dude, like, um, I remember when Ninja Gaiden came out on Xbox original, I never really bought the game, but I watched my next door neighbor religiously play it, and he basically, like, had fun. One of the hardest games in series in history. And just the only thing I didn't like about the Ninja Guidance on the new systems, the newer systems, is that I didn't play enough through them. But I noticed, like, they didn't have the original fucking great 
NES Ninja Gaiden music. It should be something you could unlock. But the good thing is, with the PS3 and uh, P Xbox uh, 360, especially 360, you can play your own music. So I just loaded up a bunch of NES Ninja Gaiden music on these games so I can enjoy them. That classic greatness. Because, you know, the NES Ninja Gaiden music, they basically had this, like, fast-paced theme to them, you know, dun -dun 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 -dun, and it just... They just made you want to just run and just cut people with swords. Yo, yeah, highly recommend that game. Uh, next up, uh, this game was pretty much... Give, uh, hold on. Oop. Got this game right here. Wish I got the box art. You know, I always like try to get the box art if I can. And if I can't, I just, you know, I either live with it or if I really like the game, I go online and get the box art. This is called a Golden Axe Beast Rider. I'm a big fan of Golden Axe. Oh, some of the most to die for. Oh, just makes you want to explode. Beautiful soundtracks. Um, unfortunately, this game does not have uh, most of those soundtracks. And um, even the little, like, elf theme or the little, like, gnome theme that, you know, uh, you know back in Golden Axe and still in this one, when you rest at the fire, uh, when you rest at the forest fire or whatever, bonfire, when your character rests and you have the little... Um, mages that come and steal your damn magic or, you know, your food sometimes. Actually, they steal your magic. And then, you know, a little theme that comes on. But anyway, like, this game does have that theme in it, but all the rest of the songs has been, like, uh, Like, they just, they just been, they just taken them out. But I like this game. Um, you play as a female. I think her name is Tigris. Um, but anyway, you, you play as her. And, uh, this game is actually pretty good. I mean, a lot of, a lot of gamers bash it. Um, or game reviewers bash it, but I actually like this game. Um, it added some of the elements that weren't in the original, and uh, I thought it was a fun game. It has some good like elements to it, like uh, hack and slash elements, and just you can still ride the beasts, um, beast rider. But it's a good game. I like it. You know, got it for five dollars at my local GameStop. I like it, man. Wish I would have got the game box art. On that note, um, rec I recommend that game. Um, man, I just like I um I bought the at games handheld. And I was playing some of the old uh, uh, Golden Axe games. Um, and I still have them on the Sega game, Sega system, which are actually pretty expensive. Those games are just fun. And just, like, the music is just a die for and just epic. This makes you want to just grow uh, long hair and fucking go into battle. Anyway, the next thing I picked up was this. I paid $2 for it at my local thrift store. I wasn't a big Destiny fan, to be honest with you. I just thought, like, I don't know. This, this game, I, if you watch uh, Angry Joe's channel... Uh, he talks about this game really good. I played the game a lot myself. I thought the graphics really good. These are from the same creators of Halo, you know, the company Bungie. I thought the graphics was pretty good. And I just, the gameplay, like, the controls are solid. It's just, man, it's just not as fun as Halo, in my opinion. And the loot system is not that good. And you fight a lot of the bosses over and over again. So, but, you know, I was like, hell, you know, the game's a little older now. I picked it up for $2 at my local thrift store. I was just like, you know what, let me just play it. Um, you know, check it out, man. So, you know, 2 bucks. This game right here, I actually have two copies of this. Um, this one I got at a thrift store for $2. I gave my other copy for a birthday gift to one of my next-door neighbors uh, who's a gamer. This is called Singularity. This game is fun. I would highly recommend it. You have this gravity glove that you can, like, besides being an FPS game, you have this gravity glove that you can basically um, grab things. And, you know, it's a gravity glove. You can grab things and slam things together and, like, when these... There's these, a lot of, like, uh, explosive barrels in the game. You can grab them and sling them against, like, uh, the, you know, the the uh, enemy horde. And it's just fun to watch the ragdoll physics go. The storyline is pretty decent. Good game. You know what I'm saying? You can still find this at uh, uh, GameStop for, like, $5, man. Highly recommend. This game right here is epic, okay? Um, one of, this is one of uh, the best, uh, hauls I, uh, uh bleh, these are one of the best things I got out of this haul. It's called Metro 2033. They made a sequel to this, um, I can't remember the name of it. I think it's called Metro Last Light. But anyways, good game, uh, has some great elements in it, man. Especially when you come to the surface and the earth's been ravaged by decay and freaking, like, uh, uh, what you call mutations and, like, you know, nuclear warfare it uh, has those little elements in it. Like, this is a really good game, man. It's just like, man, he, humanity's on their last hope. Got this for uh for free, actually, at GameStop because I got the two for one. Highly recommend. ATV off Field Fury 2. Got it complete for $2. Uh, there's a huge bin at uh, my local thrift store right here on Lauderhill. 
uh, Florida, and just, oh my god, these games are going for $2 complete, man, this is awesome, dude, and this is really good condition, the first one was there, but I kind of ran out of money, so I have to come back and get it, but uh, it's still there, saw it there, um, or what my friend said, it was still there, and, but anyway, ATV Off-Road 2, these games are really fun, uh, some of the best ATV games ever created, highly recommend it, uh, they had this come out for PSP as well, uh, Next thing I got here was Super Mario 3, all right? The the this is a DVD set. I don't have the entire set, but like every time I see these I pick them up, man. They're just beautiful. They have artwork in them and extras and you know, who doesn't love the Mario Brothers, man? Look at look at look at Toad, man. Look at Toad and of course the princess, man. Princess bitch ass. Say getting kidnapped by the same two dudes. See the Donkey Kong or what? Uh, uh Bowser. But yo, pretty cool. The next game I got here is Unreal Tournament for PS2. You know what I'm saying? Pretty pumped up about that. Complete. Got this for $2 at my local thrift store. Highly recommend. Okay? The next game up. Next is going to be X-Men Legends. Never really played these games, but looking at the back, it looks like it's like an overhead kind of like, you know, uh, it plays basically like uh, the, uh, the Marvel Alliances, which are the predecessors um or like base the successes to this game but uh man this game got a lot of rewards man game pro ign man this is awesome editor's choice can't wait to play this game you need this game so i have this game on xbox uh original but since my xbox original is being brought right now i'm glad i got the ps2 version and it was only two bucks and it's in mint it's pretty much mint condition so pretty happy about that um next it's going to be Far Cry 2. Never really got into these series, man. I did love the Far Cry growing up. You know, playing the multiplayer was my thing. Never really got to really play the main campaign in none of these games. I know Far Cry 4 just came out. Well, it didn't just come out, but uh, it's pretty recent for the next gen. So I'm going to try to get into them, man. And I know they have some AG remakes. So, yeah, $2, man. Next up, guys, is called... Grip Shift, let me know in the description below what you guys think about this. This game is for PSP. Got it for $2 at my local thrift store. I'm a big fan of racing games. And the best racing game of all time, I still think, is Rush 2 for the N64, man. I love the physics. I love the sense of speed and all the car choices that are pretty much not just original, but just like, you know, um, just like it's nostalgic, man. Damn. But this is called Grip Shift. I, I'm in love with this game, and I'm just like, dude. Actually, let me. I'm, I'm talking about Rush 2 still. I'm in love with that game, but this is a uh, grip shift for a PSP. Got it for two dollars. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, can't wait to give it a check. So, and you know, like I said, I'm collecting for that PSP. All right. Next game. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Call of Duty. I love the frantic, explosive campaigns, and the multiplayer is a pretty good depending on the game because some multiplayers, um, they have a lot of lag or just uh, you know, uh like spamming bs but this one's actually really good i love this um i love the the black ops series especially one and two which is still highly supported today 2016 still people are on there playing those games so uh a multiplayer and the games overall um this was given to me by a friend you know for free obviously call of duty black ops 3 can't wait to play, check it out you know what i'm saying big fan of the call of duty series i like getting these games on the uh, um on the current gen which is like ps3 and 360 because why uh, well, the PS3 mainly is because it's free. You know, the the internet access is free. Um, I'm not sure if it's... Uh, I know PS4, you have to pay. Um, they did that thing, like, recently. I'm not sure if this is one of the games that require that. But anyway, um, can't wait to play this game. You know what I'm saying? So, pretty... And it was for free. So, badass. Um, next game I got was also given to me by the same guy. Uh, a, a, a homeboy of mine. Um, this is called NBA 2K16. Um, I love this because of the front cover, man, with the Michael Jordan and, like, the goldness. It's just, like, the, I think it's a special edition. I'm not sure. But anyways, um, you know, pretty pumped up about this. Uh, I mean, honestly, my favorite basketball games were on the old systems, man, the old gen. NES with double dribble, NBA hang time for N64, and, of course, the best of all, and I still think it's better than any other basketball game today, NBA Jams for Sega Genesis, man. Shit. They came out that in the tournament edition. You know, when you could put in codes to get President Lincoln or President uh, Clinton and all that, Santa Claus. Man, that's like the best damn basketball game today. Really addicting, fun. The AI is really smart. 
but not BS. And it, those games are challenging, man. Um, I never really played too much of the 2K series, but, you know, it was given to me for free. And it was by friends, so, and it's a beautiful cover. So, keeping that. And, of course, the Golden Eye series game. It's called Golden Eye Rogue Agent. So, I'm really pumped up to have this. I I know there's a couple of Golden Eye games that came out on the on systems uh, after N64. I still think the best one is Golden Eye 007 for the N64. Still credibly acclaimed. One of the greatest FPS games that changed the genre and just one of the greatest FPS games and greatest GoldenEye game in my opinion today. And then um, I later on got the GameCube one, uh, uh, GoldenEye that I think, I think came out second, which was Agent of Fire. And I got it for Game Boy Advance, which is a pretty good game. Um, it's funny because it's a third person game, I believe, and it's just something so different. But anyway, uh, this is GoldenEye Rogue Agent for Xbox Original. Got it for $2.00. Um, the game's on the the the, the cart's on the greatest case, but the uh, but the game is, um, and I'm pretty pumped up to have it, man. I'm trying to collect all the um the the 007 games. I know they released the new ones that that with Daniel Craig, so I'm pretty interested in all those to see how they all compare to the original, the greatest, which is the N64 version. So yeah, you know, two bucks, man. The next haul, I'm go grab it. Or not the next haul, but the next part of the haul is the next part of the haul is Ninja Fucking Blade. Okay, this is an underrated game, and once again. It's for 360. I'm really fucking pumped to have this game. The graphics is good. The gameplay is fun. This is not part of the Ninja Gaiden series, but it's it's like I don't want to say it's a Ninja Gaiden clone because I hate using words like that. Because you know what, the games these days are none of them are really original in, in a sense because like they all took ideas from the old greatest systems of all time. You know, the NES, Atari, and all that stuff. So I hate to say it's a clone of Ninja Gaiden, but it's very similar. To Ninja Gaiden, but it does have its own elements in it. I love the finishing moves. Uh, this uh, the level design is really cool. The boss battles are fucking epic. I was really excited to get this game. This game was um, I think I found this game through, I believe um, uh, uh, Metal Jesus' channel. I could be wrong, but man, this game cost me five dollars. It's an underrated game. I didn't even know it existed for three sixty. Um, the game is freaking fun. I've played like a, like two hours of it so far. You're hacking and slashing zombies and uh, bats. It's like Castlevania meets freaking uh, a zo zombies meets freaking Ninja Gaiden, dude. I mean, your character even his face max even looks like Hayabusa's. But this is awesome, man. The music in this game is kind of linear though. So once again, uh, I put my own music. This is a 360. I run the Ninja Gaiden NES music on it, but um, so far, I don't like the music that much, but I haven't played the whole game yet, but it is fucking in-your-face explosive, and just, like, it has some crazy elements. You're in the middle of a battle, and your master throws you a giant sword, and you gotta, like, there's a lot of QTEs in this game, but I love the way they're done, and it's fun. It's a fucking fun game. I highly recommend this, like... I looked everywhere for it in my local GameStop, the one that's closest to me here by Margate in Florida had it, and I was just like, yo, gotta pick this bad boy up, man. I would highly recommend this game. Um, next up is, you know, guys, I collect anime. Uh, this is called, uh, Gus, uh, hear me out, Gasaraki. Gasaraki. Um, the reason why I picked this up is because it looks fun. I did some research on it. I don't know, it looks like some mecha type. Uh, anime, I see a fucking mech, and mechs and anime are badass, so got it, I picked that up, got this for $2, okay, and, um, I know they sell a bunch of these animes at Swap Shop for like a dollar, two bucks, but hey, man, you know, uh, freaking two dollars at a, uh, I'm paying an, an extra dollar at a thrift store that's close by, hell, why not, this is pretty much volume, uh, a one, the other one's volume eight, this is, this is the, the Summoning, which is part of the uh, same series, Gasaraki. Alright. And then, last but not least, of the haul for a video, I think three or four of the haul. Uh, this is called Gun Parade March. Uh, looks pretty fun. Um, the art design looks great. It's complete. Uh, I see mechs in there, like giant mechs battling. I don't know. 
I read the back. It looks fun. Two bucks, man. So, um, that's pretty much it, guys. You know what I'm saying? So, I really hope you guys like that. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Oh, there's one other game I left out. Oh, my God. Uh, it's, I don't have, well, the, it's in my living room right now, but I picked up Star Fox Adventures. You know, they always try to compare every Star Fox game now with Star Fox 64 and the Super NES version, which I have Star Fox 64. I never owned an SNES before. Well, now I do, but I don't have the uh, SNES version, which is a fucking great game. Highly recommend. But anyway, we're not talking about that. We're talking about Star Fox Adventures. Um, I have it complete. I bought it. I was going to buy it at my swap shop. The guy, he wasn't a retailer, but he's one of those game collectors that kind of like acts like a retailer in a sense, but you can talk him down. He was trying to sell me the game for $25, and I was just like, I went online, I think it was like between $20 and $25. So anyway, I went, that's the, where I got the Gasaraki videos, I went to my local comic book shop, I mean, excuse me, my thrift store, the same one. Uh, I was, I actually dared to pick up a friend from work, and I was just like, yeah, let me check out the video game toy section. I went there, oh my god, I found Star Fox Adventure, the same game that swap shop uh, a guy was trying to sell me for like $25. I saw it complete and good condition. The disc looks like it never even used. Uh, but obviously it was because the, well, the box was open. But in great condition, complete for th three? $3.18. What? Like I said, guys, you never know. You know, whether you have $5 or $50 or $5,000, man, roll, dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, other than that, uh, hit like and subscribe. There's definitely going to be more hauls to come. Uh, stay hyped up. <laughs> Keep collecting.